In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the Linux terminal with oh my Z Shell. A shell is a command line interpreter in the Linux system. Bash is the default shell that ships with most of the Linux distributions. It is a solid and standard legacy tool that doesn't allow customization. Now, this is where Z Shell comes into the picture. Z Shell is an interactive command line interpreter that incorporates most of the useful features of Bash and K Shell along with additional features. With the help of Oh My Z Shell framework, you can customize Z Shell with themes, functions, and plugins. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and start customizing the Linux terminal with Oh My Z Shell. Now, this will work for any Linux distribution. For the sake of demonstration, I will be using Ubuntu. Now, first and foremost, we're going to install dependencies such as git, wget, curl, and xclip. Just go ahead and open the Linux terminal. Then type this command to install the dependencies. Now once it's done, type this command to set up Z shell. You can verify the installation by running this command. Next, head over to this website and set up the oh my Z shell framework. You can install it using either curl or wget. Just go ahead and copy this line of code and paste it inside the terminal. Now once the installation is complete, the installer will prompt you to make Z shell the default shell. To do so, type yes and press the enter key on your keyboard. You can always change the shell using the chsh command. Now once you have installed the oh my Z shell framework on your system, a successful message will be displayed. Now as you can see the shell prompt has changed and we are inside the Z shell. However, if I close or open new terminal sessions, the terminal application will invoke bash instead of Z shell. To fix this issue, Type this command to see the installation location of Z shell. Just go ahead and remember this location, then open terminal settings. Go to general, choose default profile, and name it as Z shell environment. Next, select the command tab and enable this option. The type the location path of Z shell in this field. Just go ahead, close the terminal and reopen it. Now, as you can see, it invokes a Z shell by default. Now, after installing the Oh My Z shell framework, it comes with default plugins, themes, and functions. You can find these options inside a hidden folder called Oh My Z shell in the home directory. If you navigate to this directory, you can see all the install plugins. Plugin takes your shell experience to the next level. For example, with plugins, you can enable syntax highlighting, auto corrections, auto suggestions, and more. Now, along with install plugins, we're going to install the custom plugins, such as auto suggestions and syntax highlighting. To do so, type two commands one by one to install them. Once the plugins are installed, we can activate them by using the Z shell configuration file located in the home directory named as zshrc. Just type cd tilde to navigate to the home folder. Now by default, Z shell rc is hidden and you can use the ls lah command to see all the hidden files and directories. Now type nano.zshrc and look for the function called plugin. Just go ahead and add the plugins you want to use in the Z shell environment inside the parentheses. For now, I'm going to add git, sudo, history, encode64, copypath, 
Z-shell auto suggestions, Z-shell syntax highlighting. Now you can notice that each plugin name is separated by a white space. Now once you are done, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and enter, then press Ctrl plus X to exit. Now by default, all my Z-shell themes are located inside this directory. To see all the available themes, you can either use the list command or head over to this GitHub page. Now once you have selected a theme name, open the Z-shell configuration file and look for the line called Z-shell underscore theme. Then enter the name of the theme you want to use. For example, the default theme is set to be a Ronald Russell. We're going to change it to Myra, which is the name of the theme. Again, you can check the list of theme names by looking into this location or GitHub directory. You can also set the value of Z shell theme to random, which is going to pick and apply a random theme each time you open a new instance of Z shell. For now, I will change it to random. Now once it's done, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and enter. Then press Ctrl plus X to exit. Now after editing the configuration file, you need to run this command to apply these changes. Now as you can see, the shell prompt has changed. Let's see how the plugins work. Since I have added the list of plugins to the plugin function inside the Z shell configuration file, such as sudo, copy path, auto suggestions, and syntax highlighting, we are going to see how they work. For example, if I try to install a package without using sudo, I end up getting this error. With the help of sudo plugin, I can bring back the previous command by using the up arrow and then double pressing the escape key to add sudo to it. Now with the help of history, syntax highlighting and auto suggestions plugin, Z shell remembers everything that you typed before. It's time to install the custom theme called Power Level 10K. Now this is going to transform your Z shell to the next level. To install this custom theme, you can type this command. Then open the Z shell configuration file and set the Z shell theme value to this one, then save the changes. Now run this command to update the changes. Now Power Level 10K prompts you with various questions to understand your usage. Press the key according to your need to customize your terminal. Now voila, now we are using the power level 10k theme with Z shell. It looks pretty good. And that's pretty much it. This is how you customize the Linux terminal with oh my Z shell. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.